This was in the uh, My Favorite Decks to Play video that we did like uh, about a week ago now. About a week ago. Um, and I, I do, in fact, love playing it. Uh, of course, it will turn on me tonight because I love it so much and I want to show it off. But I've been wanting to play a deck from that video. And it's either this or Big Blue. And I think I just have more overall confidence in this <laughs> than I do in Big Blue. Uh, this is actually a pretty sweet deck in a lot of uh, situations. So Let's take a look at it. A lot of people were telling me that I should uh, play Ossification as a four of instead of Fateful Absence in this deck. But I like instant speed. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, this deck is mostly like removal and sweepers and stuff, and then token generation. That's basically the deck. I don't have to go too much into it, especially since some of you and the people who are devoted enough to the channel to actually watch Dank Jank <laughs> have already seen this. You know, we've got Brotherhood's End in here. We've got um, By Invitation Only, super important for this tokens deck. Reckoner Bankbuster to draw cards and makes tokens. Skrull's Hive makes tokens. Uh, Wedding Announcement makes tokens. Erebrass Forge makes tokens. Wandering Emperor, one of the best cards in Standard, also happens to make tokens. Great removal spell. Jaya makes tokens. Stensia Uprising, just a one-up, but makes tokens. And I have killed people with it. Sarah Paragon can bring back Forges, Announcements, Skrelves Hives, Ossifications even, Bankbusters, whatever. So we're playing one copy of that. And then we have Lands. One of them's a Mirex, which uh, Arena Dev pointed out. Uh, but standing up dev did not and arena dev got to feel a sense of, of happiness and usefulness for a moment It was a good moment in YouTube history, <laughs> but that's basically the rundown. I've already spent enough of tonight looking at spoilers and stuff So let's play some games of magic. The deck is fairly self-explanatory you know, Remove stuff put tokens on the board overwhelm the opponent sweep if you have to and then reestablish board presence before they can Because you have more reliable ways of doing it. Nice. Let's play some magic. All right opponent goes eh. This should do for a few turns, I guess. Nothing but basics. Uh, three mountains and a plains. We have Fateful Absence, Ossification, and now two Reckoner Bank Posters. Our opponent starts on Shipwreck Marsh, so at least it's not something you see every day. Let's fake playing Mono Red by throwing Mountain down turn one. Alright, they're on Esper over there. That is something you see every day. <laughs> so let's try and resolve Reckoner Bank Buster through a Meg Disappear. See if this format is that predictable. Oh, it's a Cathar Commando. Well, that'll still kill the Bank Buster, but it wasn't entirely predictable, so that's good. <laughs> Here comes the swing. Bang! We go to 17. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Yeah, play the land first. Yeah, on their turn, they're gonna do it so we can't draw. That's, that's the right way to go. They still have two mana up. We draw Skrelv's Hive. It's got White Source. And I have half of mine to just play another Bank Buster. It's like, would we rather have the Hive? They play creatures in their deck, but they are they seem to be a reactive deck. So I don't know how important our life total is, right? Because, like, are they going to push our life total with creatures or not? <laughs> it's kind of tough. If the Skrull of Hives gets, ca gets countered, is that fine? Maybe. We can play Bank Buster, 3 Make Disappear, and draw a card next turn, so I think I'd rather just do that. Play Hive now, see what happens. Comes right down. I really feared Make Disappear there, too, just because they didn't do anything on their turn, so... Sort of looked Make disappear to me. Rafine's Tower comes down tapped. Wedding Announcement is the play. wonder if we're going to transition into Planeswalkers soon. Jaya is our draw. That's a pretty cool draw. Makes me rethink playing Bank Buster. Eh, I'll take the Jaya. That's a cool card. Like, I could go ahead and get started. Um, on uh, the Reckoner Bank Buster, making sure we get the token as quickly as possible. I could do that, but given the choice, I'll play Jaya. Hey, it's turn four. We have a five minute Planeswalker. People say that's going to be really good with that new Rin. Leave a land untapped, play it on four. Let's see if it's good. Might be on this board state. Here comes Shelly, the Apocalypse. Big boy card comes down. All right, we take a point to Skrelv's Hive. Let's go ahead and absence the Shelly. Looks like we're going to be doing that this turn. We draw Sundown Pass. Let's throw that down. Now, how do we do this this turn? I think we just make a guy. First thing. Taught them everything they know. Ossification. Not worth it yet. We know we're going to bank buster, so let's do that and proc our uh, prowess. Come on in. Border's fine. Yeah, you block. Get them tokens off the table. 
They don't block the 3-3. Three, three. That's interesting. They just don't want the toxic. I wonder if that means something. <laughs> I'm sure it means something, right? <laughs> How many red instants and sorceries are actually in this deck? Strangle? Brotherhood's End? Not a lot. A braid. Oh, they want that Jaya. Yeah, they take it down with Void Rins because it was getting a little big. Lifetime, it's gonna be a little big over ashes. there. And now we're a little more open to a sweeper, but we've got Skrull Tide. That's good. They're going to get a man, and they're going to go to 2 2 this next turn, so. I might play the Ossification. I'll probably draw off the Bankbuster first, though. Alright, they play Tapperfiend's Tower, Wedding Announcement. They got two tutus over there, a lot of ballerina dancing going on. We got a newer Brass Forge for our draw step. That's nice. Let's play the land. Bankbuster any good here? I think I'll go ahead and draw the card. I want to see what else we can get this turn. Another Forge! That's adorable. Alright, let's throw down Forge. Prowess, Prowess. I think I should have gone for Jossification, maybe? Is that going to be the decision point in the game? I don't know. We'll see. I think they might just cast Farewell next turn. If they're even playing. They do look like more of a control deck than a creature-based deck at this point, but... Still a little surprised we haven't seen Planeswalkers. But if they nail Farewell, they're going to be in some trouble. I guess we still have your Brass Forge, though. Let's see if they take blocks here. They really don't want the Toxic. That's interesting. Alright, they got a 14. They lose a guy, so do we. Their Brass Forge goes off, and we say go. They'll pop their clue. They're going to start their turn with effectively four cards in their hand. That's a lot. Let's see what they do. I feel like if they have Farewell, they pull the trigger soon. <laughs> you know, why not? But if they had it, why wouldn't they have, like, taken a block? If they knew they were going to farewell something anyway. Yeah, they're just using single target removal here, which makes me think they don't have any kind of sweep. Here comes Graveyard Trespasser, though. That's pretty good. Might ditch our draw this turn for an ossification on the Trespasser. But that makes a, a farewell in the future much, much better for them. Ooh, Stencia Uprising. We can go Uprising into ossification ditch the forge, but I actually kind of don't love that. <laughs> really don't. 13 permanents, huh? Beginning of your end step. Create a 1-1. One, one. We have 11. That'll be 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12. 13 with a guy. I'll we'll have to make sure this procs and gets the token off the battlefield first, right? I still don't think it's right. I don't. This is a weird decision point that I think was actually worth roping on. But I will ossify Trespasser. Yes. Now, ditching this uprising means that we are completely naked to farewell, but I don't think they have. So they did. They again block the toxic damage. I guess they don't want our creatures uh, with toxic to have life. Link. We're at 13. They're at eight. Big stuff here. Three cards in their hand. Haven't played a land yet. Big stuff. Are we ready? I'm sweating a little bit, y'all. I'm sweating just a little bit. Drink of the night tonight. Red Gatorade. It's a <laughs> nostalgic drink that I actually never have, but I'm having one tonight. Liliana of the Veil. Something suspicious is going on. And for once, it's not my fault. Oh, Sacrifice a man. All right, we'll do that. Sack the uh, bug. Yeah, after uh, football practice, my mom would pick me up, bring me a red Gatorade, and I would just down it all in one go. Those were the days. Let's wedding announcement. Uh-oh. Negate the wedding announcement. Wow. Okay. Well, let's definitely kill this Liliana. So we'll do that like that. 
I guess I technically don't have to this turn, do I? I don't have to do that. I could push damage. Why not push damage, dude? What are they going to do with that Liliana? We don't have any cards in our hand. Screw that. <laughs> we still have the Eurobrass. What if they farewell this turn, right? They get to keep their Liliana? I don't love that. Could be going too hard here. I'm going too hard. I am. I am. Kill the Planeswalker. Three, um, I think, important decision points in this game so far. I don't want to give them more time to hit the Farewell. I don't want to do that. They didn't block, though. If they had Farewell, I think they would have. But I think I might be worried about a card they're just not playing. But It's a pretty control-oriented looking deck. But it's three colors, so who knows. Soren the Mirthless. Might keep him in the game this turn. Yep, there's their life linker. It's a 3-4. That's a big man. Take a point. Oh, I didn't, really didn't want to land this turn. Last thing we wanted. Alright, so... Let's try and pop the Soren. What if they block this guy with the life linker? They take four, five, six, seven. Go to one. And they can block something else with this guy. But their life linker would be alive. Okay, so they are going to use their life linker on a block. They go up to eight. They can get another life linker. Let's bluff. Keep this card in our hand. With all these planes, we've seen two planeswalkers now, so it makes me think there is. They do have farewell. It comes brutal though. They wouldn't play brutal and farewell. They wouldn't do that. Oh, it's nighttime. They did play two spells though, right? No, they didn't. They didn't. The Wandering Emperor. The Wandering Emperor, huh? Well, let's go face. Now's the time, and that's the place. Block the 5 1 with the Boon Rage Brood. I believe it has first strike, right? Yeah, it does. And then they block the 4 1 with the 2 2. That looks like game. Sure does, doesn't it? You got something? Am I crazy? Trample? Well, I'm doing it. <laughs> Maybe this is wrong, actually. Because now they get to play Emperor in response. I'm not over right? Confident. Is that possible? You're just I don't know. I don't know if I had to do that. I don't, but I just felt like I should. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got a little nervous. <laughs> so. But yeah, they were going to go to zero anyway. I just thought maybe they had some kind of something, but I guess the idea there would have been to just let them play it, and if they don't have it, then they die. But I was really nervous that my math was just off. Like, I counted it three times, but I was still like, am I sure about this? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. we go first. This looks okay. This looks fine. Four lands, Skrelv's Hive, Wedding Announcement, Wandering Emperor. So, we're getting on board. Might cost us some life. I, I don't love Battlefield Forge in a deck with Skrelv's Hive, you know. Dreams of Steel and Oil. Nice. You can't get anything from our hand. That card sucks. Stop playing it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, let's mountain. Not everyone agrees. I get somebody in my comments section every few days. It's like, dude, you gotta try Dreams of Steel and Oil. It's like, I do, and it's like, it never works. <laughs> it should theoretically work. Grab Shieldred, grab Reckoner Bank Buster, but it never works for me. <laughs> let's forge. Forge of the Jungle. Hmm. Yeah, it's Emperor. Or Emperor. <laughs> Wedding announcement. I always just say the name of the card I want to play. <laughs> Third land. Tenacious Underdog number two. God. I might sweep the board here. I really might. But 
even that kind of helps them. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, the other thing I could do here is Wandering Emperor away one of the underdogs this turn, which is probably what I'm really going to do. You know. No tax. What are you going to do? You're going to go. Oh, sweet. They waste a cut down on a 1 1 token. Let's go. That's good. <laughs> We're at 16. Here comes Shelly. Yep. 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 I thought that might happen. <sighs> Should have just cast Brotherhood's in, man. Should have just done it, because. You know. You're not going to attack. So you're not going to attack with the Shelly either. I might as well just play the Wandering Emperor, you're saying? Is that what you're saying? You're saying that? Cool. That's so dirty. I hate children. <laughs> Have I made that clear on multiple occasions, by the way, that I hate Shelly? Can't stand her. Five. We also have to draw and take damage. We also take damage from our lands. Jeez. Hey, we can use this Reckoner Bankbuster to help us draw the answer. <laughs> and if we do that, we'll take more damage, right? You're not this stupid, are you, opponent? You knew that Wandering Emperor existed, so there's no way, right? They are. They are. They are. They really are. They really are. They seriously are. Okay. All right. So, I shouldn't call people stupid. <laughs> they're not. They're not stupid. Happens to the best of us, right? It's like hell at this point. I'm not even sure that I actually used Emperor this turn, but I did. Oh, are you mad? Oh, are you so mad that you lost your Shieldred when you? You played a. <laughs> you played around the Wandering Emperor too, and you felt so smart. You felt so smart about that. I don't want to be toxic. I really don't. It was a good game. I, I don't think you had to sweep, right? You didn't have to sweep. Like I'm still taking damage from a Skrelv's Hive. You still have two tenacious underdogs. Like that was a sweep, only out of anger that we killed their children. Maybe they're mad at themselves. They blocked. Maybe they're just mad at themselves. They blocked. You know, I've been mad at myself tonight. <laughs> Opponent goes first. Uh, we're up against Ghost of Chicken, but if you can't hear Chicken, she's in the background right now. <laughs> she's in the room. <laughs> so, kind of a weird opponent. They play Forest turn one into Evolving Adapt. We have Brotherhood's End. Hopefully we can get it before, <laughs> before Adaptive gets too big. Swing in. They're not going to grow the Adaptive this turn. That's great news. There's a Strangle. That's even better news. Go ahead and use it. Yeah. I was thinking about going ahead and getting the Skrelv's Hive down and just like Brotherhood's ending next turn. Why, Ghost of Chicken? Why, Ghost of Chicken? Why? Why does it... Whenever it looks like we're going to have an actual game where we like draw lands and play magic cards, the opponent just runs. That's twice tonight. We go first. We have to draw that third land, but let's let's see about it. We got a sweeper. Let's see about it. But <laughs> but man, put that on my tombstone. Famous last words all night. We gotta draw that third land. It's been like twice tonight where it hasn't happened. Ooh, mono red. Haven't played against them yet. Surprisingly. Didn't draw the land. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> we got a wandering emperor, number two. Cacophony Scamp comes down. What exactly are you? Deal damage equal to your power or something when you die? Yeah, and then um, when it deals combat damage, you sack it. You, you do, you proliferate. Okay. Sure. This feels like a waste, but I want to use my mana. I do. We didn't draw the third land. <laughs> Oh, all right, say go. You gotta let me play Magic here. Right I'm I'm okay with losing games, but you gotta let me play Magic. I can't keep doing this, dude. There's a land. Not before they got a free turn on us, you know. Forge. 
You can't get a free turn in standard. Standard is a, a meta of turns. It has been for a long time. When I say when I say a long time, I mean like twenty years. <laughs> standard is a, a meta of turns. Sexual anger could be worse. Could be worse. Could be worse. Are you also stuck on lands? Is the shuffler just being like terrible to everyone tonight? Free from flesh. Yeah, something gives me the impression they only play like 18. Sundown pass. Good stuff. We got 17 in the turn. We have two emperors here. And the mana to play them, so things could turn around, but we are at a reasonably low life total. They got their third land. Let's see if they start targeting stuff with things here. What the hell even is this? Okay. Free from flesh. <laughs> it's wandering EMP here. Send an EMP blast right over to that Phoenix chick is what I want to do, but I'm gonna hit the etching. I wouldn't do that if I didn't have another Emperor. See if they target it with stuff. There's still five cards in their hand. They don't. Dwarven Forge Chanter, okay. Okay. Let's make a man. I'm never done for good. Hold up Keep Emperor again. I guess I could Paragon. Is there anything in there? No, right? No. Kind of steps on the toes of this by invitation only we want to play in a couple of turns. It's gotta be in. Doesn't have to be him. It doesn't. It does not literally have to be him. Oh crap! Crap! <laughs> that's, that's a weird misplay, right? I just went to intern. I should have attacked with the forge token. Might make a difference too. It really might. I've already accidentally, like not accidentally, but like missed a turn. You know what I mean? Um. Let's take blocks first. But I've already basically missed a turn. Um. Because it didn't have enough lands. Whirling Strike, huh? Plus two, plus seven. What, where? Show me the. Show me the card. Show me the card, Arena. Show me. Show me the card. 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 What does the card do, Arena? Arena, I'm highlighting. I'm. Uh, thank you. First strike, and trample. Okay, cool. So it's worth paying the ward, I think. Arena, the card that I can use is up under the stack. Figure out a better way to do this, Arena. <laughs> Seriously, please figure out a better way to do this. <laughs> I'll pay the two life. Then we'll gain two life. We'll go to eight. Yeah, Tony, it's been that kind of night. It's... Honestly, I feel like I've been able to, to like... Keep a good face on it for the most part. These last couple of games, though, they're getting to me just because, like, again, I do not, I never mind losing. I really don't. So long as in the process I get to play magic. It's a big, it's a big thing with me. I really like to play magic, you know? Remember your training. Pat, you have vigilance, right? I always double check. For some reason, it's been playing with Wandering Emperor for like a year. I always double check whether or not the samurai has vigilance. Might as well. That's what being being ADHD will do that to you. <laughs> I double check everything. Brittany gets on to me for it sometimes. Why did you? What? what I, I just told you that, or like you just checked that a second ago. It's like yeah, I double and triple check things because like I can't trust my brain. <laughs> That's just how it works. We've already seen tonight a couple of reasons why I can't trust my brain. You know. Well, I'm going to block this, uh, and they're probably going to have some kind of thing for it, but I have to not care. I just kind of have to not care. Yep, Whirling Strike. Bang, First Strike, too. That's a good card, isn't it? <laughs> it's not bad at all. all right, let's make man. Well, we don't have to. We could exile target tapped creature. We certainly could. He never drew a fifth mana. For the <laughs> it's just been like five turns, it feels like. We never drew another mana. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna exile target Phoenix chick. And go to 10. 
and then play Jaya. Make a dude. Swing for five. Seven. Yeah, man. Boom, they got a four. Oh my god. We could, we're gonna do it, guys. <laughs> we're gonna do it. <laughs> Despite all my whinging. I'm still just a rat in a pinging. I don't even know if that's a real word. What do we do? Okay, so one, two. We go to eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> they can't kill us. <laughs> I'm gonna block with a samurai on the swift sphere, though. I'm not gonna make the mistake of accidentally killing the cacophony scamp or anything like that. We're not gonna screw around too much here. <laughs> I don't think I have to take this block, but I'm going to. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> now, I may have gotten salty. These last couple of matches. I'm, the, 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 the mana screw and stuff may have gotten to me a little bit. I've been trying to keep as good of a face on it as I can, stay positive and smiling and laughing and stuff, but... Now, I think our opponent is doing the thing that I have yet to do. At least in all my frustration, I have yet to rope anyone. <laughs> they haven't roped us yet either. I could be giving them a bad name. I could be chicken. Chicken, you want to come here? Chicken, hey girl. Sweet, sweet baby. Who comes when I call? That's amazing. Yeah, they didn't rope. They just, uh, they just waited forever to make the decision. Oh, you came to me, but you don't want to be held? That's so sad. That's so sad. That's so sad. That's so sad. This is how she likes to be held. Like this. She doesn't really like the cradle. She likes the flop. <laughs> there you go. Why'd you come? I'm glad you came when I called. That's nice. Oh, we died. <laughs> I'm over here playing with chicken. So we were at 10. How did we die? How did they do that? Sacrifices itself when it hits. And the two cards in their hand were Whirling Strikes, I guess? Is that what happened? The two cards in their hand were Whirling Strikes. Is that what they did? I didn't actually see it. Yeah, unfortunately. Huh. Cool. Alright. <laughs> well, both cards were Whirling Strikes. I think they got all four whirling strikes that game. Huh. Good job. We go first. <laughs> Up against Niall. I, I'm definitely starting to adopt your philosophy on life, Niall. What happened? <laughs> I, I, I wish I'd have at least seen it. I was, I was messing with the cat. <laughs> All right, it's mono red again for some reason. They, <laughs> but we have brotherhoods in and by invitation only. Maybe we'll get to the fifth land to actually play the five minute sweeper this this game. Phoenix chick. <laughs> what? Well, Baron Epicure. Go sixteen. I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't get it. All right, so if we don't cast. Brotherhood's in this turn, and we wait a turn. We take two, four, five, and go to 11. Yeah, I just had to <laughs> like double check him with myself that I really want to do this. I do. <laughs> we could take as much as like eight or more. You know, they got like Reckless Storm Savior. Crush us. They could even play through the sweep. It's possible. Mechanized Warfare. Okay, through three, six, seven, eight. We go to eight. Okay. Battlefield Forge, Brotherhood's End. Blow it up. Blow it up, blow it up! Putting a 17 with the Forge token. <laughs> Haste guy hurts a lot. There's Reckless Impulse. They get an Epicure and a Phoenix chick, and they can play both of them. Crap! So we go to what? Oh my god, they felled him though! We go to five. We have to Jaya. Make boy. 
Destruction is best left to the professionals. What you perfect cards opponents nice have over there all night. 14. It's that, like, it's the last cards in their hand. You know what I mean? Like, and that's the... That's what kills me. <laughs> Literally perfect. Good job, opponent. Good job. All right. Well, at least that was a fast one. You lose to Mono Red that way sometimes, I guess. Again, could not get to the fifth mana. They played through Brotherhood's End and killed us, like, the next turn. On the draw. They were on the draw that game. That's... Mono Red pretty strong, dog. you know? Yeah, peeps play Mono Red to have fast games. That's why I play it. <laughs> That's exactly why I mess around with Mono Red sometimes. Chicken, I got you, girl. Igby YouTube? Go ahead. Opponent goes. Alright. I keep taking some amount of solace in the fact that when opponent goes, we have a better shot of winning, or at least that's been, it's been the tale of the tape tonight, you know? <laughs> red? It's mono red! Wow, that's the third Phoenix chick in three games. <sighs> and they get to go first this time. Alright. Cool. Usually we do pretty well against mono red, but that has not been the case so far on stream. Mono red is a matchup I don't mind with the stack. Mostly. <laughs> and go. Good God. All right. So we've got a 13 this turn before we've played our third game. Had an opponent yesterday follow a turn one chick with a turn two planes, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> that would do that. Boy, speaking of lands, we've drawn them, haven't we? Jeez. Six out of ten. <laughs> Six out of ten. Interesting, I'm not playing lands at a 60% rate, but yet... <laughs> yep. Are you going to shock us or something? Are you going to play with fire? Yeah, just do it. <laughs> <coughs> 11, 10, 9, 8. We got an 8 at least this turn. They scry to the bottom. Let's see if they have another haste guy. Land. Swift Spear. One card left. It is Lightning Strike! We go to 0, don't we? 8, 7, six. Okay, for a second there I thought we did, but we might as well be at 0. Eh, we'll see one way or the other. We'll see what happens. Yeah, sweet. There's no winning. Sweet. They literally top deck sweet. What, like. Cheesy freaking crazy. I meant to make a dude, by the way, but I was so dejected that I hit the wrong thing. It wouldn't matter regardless, though. Unless it would. <laughs> I'm just dejected by their top deck there. Yeah, one, two. So we, we get rid of this. We go to five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. It literally, the literal perfect card for them to draw right there is Squee. We go to exactly zero there. Oh my god. Three in a row against mono red perfect cards. That's sick. That's gross, dude. That's gross. That is gross. All right. One more. Opponent goes. We're up against Nasty Man. Over there, they're a nasty man. Well, two sweepers to start, so if it's mono red again, or yeah, one sweeper and an abrade, so maybe. Gotta draw second red source though. Death Cap Blade, their second red source. Go ahead and play that. Black Source Misery Shadow. Sweet. That's a uh, our turn abrade that. Goodness gracious. Misery Shadow, okay. I see you. It's a good card. Let's Brotherhood's End. What now? Children of the Apocalypse. How did I know? 
How did I know? Man. How does anyone play standard? Like, I kind of don't know. You know? I really kind of don't get it. I don't expect my opponent to attack with Shieldred, and if they do, that's fine. You could argue the Stencia Uprising was correct. Here comes Glissa. Jeez, dude. I was planning on combining the Aganjo and the Abrade to kill the Shelly, but... Never mind. Ossification will do it, thank you. Thank you very much. But you know what else will do it? Invoke despair. <laughs> Watch him. Watch them. As Kinzen comes down. Draw off Buster. Okay. Let's try to get back in it. They got not too many cards left in their hand. <sighs> they freaking Phyrexian Obliterator. Um, opponent has played the best possible creature they could play on every single turn of the game so far. They have not missed an incredible creature yet on any turn of the game. That's something, isn't it? Jeez. Draw land. Stencia. Oh my god, they drew a land. I think. <laughs> they don't have to have drawn that land. Oh yeah, it tramples. I forgot, it's the most unfair card in the history of magic cards. <laughs> it tramples. There's a fateful absence. My god. Kill it. Kill it. Jeez, dude. What a night. Oh, what a night. Yikes. A karma reprint win. Oh my god, yes, please. Oh my god, give it to me. <laughs> Just love that. Oh, please. Um, let's let go. You get a boy. Sack it. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I should have done that. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. Let's let's try and even up the score here a little bit so we can start swinging with busters and hitting them to damage and stuff. There's a glissa. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening with this game, dude? Do you play anything besides ridiculous cards <laughs> at all? <laughs> and it's not like they haven't drawn lands. I got a bunch of them. Oh my god, a notification. Thank you. Oh, what a wild game, dude. <laughs> what an incredibly wild game. Ossification. That held up for a second. Oh my goodness, okay. Crew it. Let's go. Bang, bang, we put him at eight. We're both at eight. Ah. <laughs> oh boy, okay, all right. They play land. They have two cards left, though. They go for the throat, the thing that can crew the buster. We get a wandering emperor, so we can crew the buster this turn. It's possible. Let's draw. Hmm. It's a buster. I'd really like to save that Emperor. I really would. No. Nope, 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 nope. Go for it. While they don't have cards in their hand and stuff, just go for it, baby. Attack, attack, attack. Crew it. Let's do it. Chew it, yes! Scoop it! <laughs> Rhymes like dimes, baby. Let's play some magic. We go first. <laughs> when we go first, your Brass Forge is like a much, much better card. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun <laughs> over here tonight. <laughs> Let's play Battlefield Forge. 
See what they got. Ooh, it's blue white. Nice. <laughs> You'll never. When's the last time you heard me say that, chat? <laughs> Ooh, it's blue white. It's a blue white. Ooh. Never once. <laughs> oh man. Thalia comes down. We can't abrade that this turn. That's fun. <laughs> Play our third land, cast strangle, I guess. It's the Legends deck, by the way. I was hoping, or no, it's Soldiers. Right? I wonder if we're good against them. I guess we'll find out. We got a Brotherhood's in. That should help. Play this turn, opponent. All the removal. <laughs> this should work well, but we remains to be seen. You know. Hmm. Just keep playing spells in your own turn, Dev. Hell, I think I might. Yeah, do it. Just just kill the officer. Just kill it. Just kill it. Got an 18 to do it. I think it's more likely the play there may have been to Urbrest Forge. Take a shot. Brotherhood's in next turn. Harbin is the play. Good card. Double spell this turn? They don't, huh? They don't. Forge. Let's try this play now. <gasps> do you have that soldier counter spell? That would be sick. Oh! <laughs> they do have it. Nice. Okay. I'm glad I didn't try for uh, Brotherhood's End, I guess. Siege Veteran comes down. Valiant Veteran, oh boy. Oh boy. Harbin just swings for five. <laughs> we get a land, that's good news, I guess. Let's Brotherhood's end. All this crap away. They do get a couple of soldiers though. One, they get one soldier. Here comes Harbin number two. Really sticking with it, aren't they? We go to 10. Mm. On the land. I'll take this. Let's just say go. Oh, what do I do with four open mana and two of its white? What do I do? <laughs> I'd love to stop taking damage to our lands. I think we've taken like three or four to our lands this game. Yep. Oh my god, you loser. Like, you. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> so you have to. You should attack in this situation. <laughs> Let's make a man. Now we just get to shoot down the Harbin. Oh, we have choices, actually. Die. <laughs> Die, Mr. Smarty Pants over there. <laughs> People think they're hilarious. <laughs> People think they're geniuses for not attacking into four open mana, even when they, like, should. Let's make a guy. See, you just let me make all these guys now. You didn't have to let me make all these guys. You could have, I could have had a Wandering Emperor on one. But no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Resolute Reinforcements comes down. Nice. Nice play. Next. Oh, they take the shot. Okay. You know what's crazy is that Soldiers is technically, according to Ether Hub and stuff, like the most played aggro deck in the format in best of three. The second most played deck in aggro, or in best of, of, of best of one. It's the second most played aggro deck. And like, I never get mad at Soldiers. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I never see it. <laughs> and it's a cool deck. Like, as far as aggro decks go, I think Soldiers are really cool. Here they come. I meant to crew the bank buster, but I guess I passed. I should have done that. Yeah, I'll just catch you. I'll just take your guys off the board. I was wondering if like we need these two dudes right now, but I'm not actually super convinced that we do. Sarah Paragon, that's a pretty good card. Sure. 
Yeah, we've got forges in the yard, so that's nice. We are still taking so much damage to our lands. <laughs> it's got to stop eventually, you know? <laughs> Alright, if they get Cathar, we can crew the buster. Pass. Our turn. Cool. That's great news. I actually have some uh, pretty fair choices here. Um, I think I'm just gonna hold up the abrade. What are you doing? If I can abrade and draw, I think it's just better than anything else. If I could play forge and abrade, like I would just do that. Here comes resolute re and freaking forcements. What ups? What ups, right? It's not a big deal. Land for the opponent. Tatsu is their name over there. They're trying to push through damage, and they could. I mean, they got a chance at it. Let's abrade the toke. And go to six. I think it's okay. I think it's okay to go to six. Been wrong before. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Been wrong a lot tonight, especially. We'll draw the third land. <laughs> Be fine. Wedding announcement. Brotherhood's in. We still haven't drawn the fifth land, which I really want a lot. Like a lot. A whole lot. We could do so much with five lands. Really good. Wedding announcement, draw a card. Wedding announcement, fateful absence, fateful absence. Urbras Forge, fateful absence. Or Reckoner, number two. Or draw a card. It's whatever, you know? Five mana is really important right now, and we just ain't got it. So. What if I swing? I'm pretty sure Brotherhood's in might just end the game this turn. We'll see, though. I don't know what's in their hand. Something. Like, something that's holding something up. Is it Emperor? Oh, no, they're going to eat Ganjo. Alright. Yeah, sure. What else? No value from our one Sarah Paragon, but I don't care that much. So, this turn, should I actually just play Wedding Announcement? Well, let's sweep it. They're out of cards. They are out of cards, so this is correct. We got a five, though. I mean, we got a five. Huh. Almost no matter what we do there. Let's see what they drew for turn. Escape. Okay. Must have been a land or something. I kept thinking that this would happen. That if we just wear them down and get them down to no cards and no creatures, like, they'll be done. They'll just, they'll, they'll decide that they're done with it. Um, we have four cards and ways to draw more cards with Reckoner. So, this is the time an aggro deck, a dagger deck usually chooses to dip out if they don't get the right card off the top, so... I assume they didn't, <laughs> you know. But, whew! Yeah, five is good enough. I think one would have been good enough there, to be honest. Like, that's one thing about soldiers. They don't play, like, haste or, like, damage off the top. Not really that you have to worry about. So, which is why I think in best of one, mono red is the more played aggro deck.